Okay, so I thought I'd uh, just explain this patch uh, a little bit because there's actually quite a lot going on, even though I'm actually not using that many uh, oscillators. Essentially, the sequence is being driven by the SIG, the Stochastic Instruments Generator um, SIG. I'm kind of using the ornament and crime just to generate a trigger, so let's not worry about that too much right now. I've got a clone of Kinks, which is over here, and I'm uh, sending that also a trigger from the sample and hold. <clears throat> The main oscillator is, or oh, the oscillators are basically the clavis. I'm using all three outputs. Um, so we have the, um, the, the uh, additive uh, equal. We have a sort of a square wavy, sort of uh, slightly distorted, bit reduced, and also using the sub output, which comes from the, um, the middle uh, output here. Using a lot of maths, uh, maths is being used to essentially control the envelope, which is, as you can see here, channel one is basically, channel four is basically the envelope. Channel one is essentially being used to patch into the, um, into the full parameter. And then this is what, and then this is controlled via the, uh, the channel one uh, attenuator here. So whenever you hear it, the filter kind of opening up, it's because of this. Right. And then you have uh, a number of those rhythmic offsets are really brought about through altering the position of the attack phase that superimposes or asserts a new rhythm on top of the pulsing sixteenths that we have. Okay, so as you can see, there's, uh, or here, there's actually quite a lot of uh, variation that's available here in terms of uh, performing with it. And then, to the, so basically the values that are coming in uh, to channel one of maths are basically being generated by the sample and hold from uh, kinks. So that's why you get these kind of different uh, values coming through. Because it's generating new sample and hold values on uh, every trigger. I haven't really varied the triggers uh, yet. 
kind of for another day. Uh, I've just got the um, the salam, which uh, I'm only really using one channel of uh, at the moment. Um, but another day we'll go through that. I've got a, uh, a also a clone. Shout out to Beep Boop uh, in Bristol um, for their uh, Lynx clone as well. I've got them both at the same time, Kinks and Lynx. Um, and just using that for a variety of uh, either signal multiplication or mingling. Um, I've got this uh, ST modular sort of EFI kind of, it's quite a dirty um, filter, but it's good enough because it sits within this uh, much smaller uh, rack case. And then finally, the uh, Endorphins uh, Milky Way, basically doing uh, delay duties, which you can hear whenever it gets captured. And so on. Okay, now then, back. This isn't on the dolly, by the way. <laughs> I'm just moving it around and hoping it, it doesn't uh, fall over like my last stream. Um, and in terms of pitch changes, I'm basically just cycling pretty much between F and G. So this is a kind of a, a G Phrygian sort of idea. You've got G, A flat or G sharp, and uh, B flat here, or A sharp. I wish they'd kind of made them flats rather than sharps. Um, and then these sliders are basically density sliders. So how often do you want to hear a particular note? So for here, I'm basically saying the G should be 100%. Uh, the G sharp should be roughly about 50%. And the, uh, a, um, the a sharp or B flat should be um, probably about 25%. And then swapping between the G and the F to basically move it down as a kind of a Phrygian sort of thing. So there we go. So I'm just going to go through that now. So that's the basic patch really. I think I forgot to mention that the um, that maths is basically tied to the filter. So opening and closing, filter cut off. So that's the idea that you've got there. It's a great little filter. Um, you know, makes it really tight. Kind of there. And obviously we could open up channel four on maths if we want it to behave or not close off quite as much. I like it like that to get that really uh, chunky sort of thud. And then open it up with the, with the attenuator on channel one. Asserting these different rhythms is kind of more of a, a task of feel more than there is uh, precision. kind of a sweet spot there if you want to bring out more of a 16th kind of transient type sound. It's quite a nice place there. Yeah, 
That's how we move around. Right, I'm going to have a bit more of a play.